All right, then. Hello, guys. Today, we're going to be doing another Pico CTF challenge. And the challenge we're going to be doing today is going to be Pi Time 2, which is a bit different from Pi Time 1. Reason being is because once we launch this instance, uh, we're going to wait and see. And I was doing this challenge earlier. Is that if we click on this on the first challenge, um, on the first challenge, uh, one of the addresses was being leaked to us, which made it easier. But in this case, nothing is being leaked to us. And we had to jump to an address. So what do we do here? So in this case, it's if you look closely, it says enter your name, E E E, which I tried. And then if once I entered my name, E E E, it printed it out for me back. So what does this mean? This means that we're able to input whatever we want in print F. So now if we because I already previously downloaded the file. So if I go cat and you can get the file simply by going right here and clicking on download the source code. But since I already have it. Uh, and this is the first one first challenge this is for the second one so if you see right here we get int main set buff set of buffer and it says call functions and within call functions it says enter your name and then we get f gets if we get whatever we want then we print f whatever we want if you're not familiar why this is vulnerable you can just click on this and look up print print f vulnerability and this is basically related to format string vulnerability which if you look at OWASP, it says the format string exploit occurs when submitting a data of input string is evaluated as a command by the application. In this way, the attacker could execute code, read the stack, or causing segmentation fall. And in our case, what we're going to do is basically do what we did last time where we leaked addresses and we jumped to the offset to the win function, which is what we're going to do. So how are we going to leak this? So what I'm just going to do is copy this payload that they have here and then spam it within GDB. So if we go right here gdb and now we have the file already downloaded which you could download on your own and now we go to this ass main disassemble main disassemble main oh this ass did i not and then put the gdb one and then this ass main and now we see the main function and then we see the calls function. Now this says when we get an idea of what it's inside the function, but what we need to do is run it. So we'll do break star main. We'll break at main. We'll run, and then we'll do this as main, which is going to contain the addresses at the moment, which is a bit different from what we saw earlier because these are the actual memory addresses that's using. So get an idea of this, and then this as function. I think so that's what we're gonna do. This as function. No, this as win. So we have an idea what these do, and then we'll, we'll do uh, just for fun sakes this as call functions, which is another memory address in case this as call functions so now we have three memory addresses that we look at now we're going to try leaking this so we just press continue enter your name so we're going to enter our name and what we're going to do is try leaking some addresses if we could leak one of these addresses we could just basically uh work ourselves back work our way back so we'll just keep doing this I'm just doing a lot now we did it now we want to see if any of these matches to our value so we're looking for something that has a bunch of fives in this case we don't see a bunch of it until we reach this one right here five five four four one so we look at five five four four one we don't see it right here four 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 nothing right here five 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 four four one five 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 oh we're getting closer here five 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 four 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 one right here so that's where this is at. So it leaked at this position, which is what, uh, let's go right here. One, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. At position 19, that's where it leaked an address from memory, which was right here, 441. So what we'll do is just basically do it backwards what we did last time. So I'll just look up a hex calculator, hex calculator, hex calculator right here. 
I'm gonna just put this what we found. Let me just take out this part at the end. <sighs> Minus the address uh, for uh, win, which is this one right here. And then we're basically gonna go off by that offset. So we just go like that. D7, which is 204, 215. So that's basically the difference. So now what we're gonna do is run our code, connect to the port and do that thing that we just did right now. So we know at position 19, that's where we're able to access that. So we'll just copy this. So enter your name. So in my case, and we know it's position 19. So to do this, all you need to do is basically do percentage 19, which means the position 19, then dollar sign P, and that's gonna print out that specific position at that certain value. Now we have that right here. And what we're gonna do now is just basically do the math real quick. quick. Hopefully it doesn't close on itself, or hopefully it doesn't close. And then D7. Uh, is it plus D7? No, yeah, D7, yeah. D7. And it's basically this value. So it's going to be OX. OX and then that. Oh. OX and that. I might have maybe messed this up, but we will see right now. And we got a Pico CTF. You shouldn't leak. Now just copy that and paste it inside of here. And that should solve the challenge. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this challenge. I know I did. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.